Hey y'all. So today is Thanksgiving. I just had a bunch of turkey and sides and all kinds of stuff. And instead of taking a nap, I decided I want to come out here and try to work on this Camaro. Um, the main goal, what I think I want to tackle today is get this thing detailed. As you can see, this paint is just dirty. And I've buffed on this paint once before and it did not um, come all the way clean. There was still a lot of mildew stains in the paint, but at that time the car wasn't really running great. So I thought, now nah, I don't want to spend too much time on detailing it. I didn't know if the mechanicals were all right. So now that I got this thing running, driving, good, reliable car, it's even got air conditioned. Um, I want to try again on the detailing. Now I bought a product. Let me go grab it. This product right here, Meguiar's marine and rv compound i used some i don't know what brand compound i had laying around just some old stuff and it didn't seem to be aggressive enough to get the mildew stains out of the paint i've heard that this is much more aggressive you actually got to be careful with it and um i saw this on an uncle tony's garage video probably a couple three months ago so i thought maybe this would be a good shot you know this paint's not good it's an old dilapidated paint job it's got, you know, pieces of paint missing. So if we're going to experiment, this would be a good car to do it on. Um, I'll just be careful and go slow and make sure I don't burn through the paint. But I'm optimistic. First thing I got to do is get all the loose dirt off this thing. We park it here behind our sandblasting operation. So it's about the worst environment you can imagine. Got to be careful washing the uh, grit off of it because it's like sandpaper. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start there. All right, first thing I did was I got all those leaves that were packed up in the cowl out of there. Next thing I, I'm going to do is get some mortar on this thing, try to hose off the loose stuff. All right, so I just gave it a quick Dawn bath, Dawn dish soap, and used one of these little microfiber mitts, just trying to knock off some more of the dirt. It's still not perfectly clean. It's wet, so it looks better on camera, but as it dries out, you can see, like, still got you know mildew stains and all that kind of stuff there's also when i got this car it had a bunch of white speckles on it like somebody had splattered paint on it by accident you can see it better with the car a little bit cleaner and i had spent some time on this side as you can see it was like pretty bad i spent some time wet sanding and i tried clay barring some of it off some of it did come off and then I ended up wet sanding. So th this does have like a thousand grit kind of sandpaper finish on it. Hopefully this compound will help that, that finish look a little more slick. But as it dries out, it definitely looks less reflective. Hopefully y'all can see that. So I'm gonna get my uh, power cord drug out here and we're gonna start using the compound. All right, y'all, so I've already started using the compound right here on this patch of of the hood so if you can see the sun kind of reflecting you can still see the mildew i haven't worked over there other than just cleaning it with dawn over here it definitely is better and i see much less mildew stain i've hit this three times i'm going uh pretty slow because i'm I've heard this stuff's aggressive and I don't want to burn through the paint. So I'm going slow, kind of getting used to the product before I go uh, too aggressive. I will turn up the speed though for the rest of the car. I just want to kind of learn here. And also if you're doing this at home, you probably ought to learn on a less obvious part of the car, but it doesn't bother me. All right, y'all, I've done exactly half of the hood. And as you can see, it's doing a really good job of getting the stains out of the paint. It's actually black over here over here it's got like a greenish tint just from nature being on it being parked outside it's been at least a year since i detailed it last time but you know it's getting all this like mildew stain stuff out and honestly some of that comes off with my hand but it's just rough over here and then over here it's squeaky clean paint okay guys so I got the whole car compounded. As you can see, it's a lot better than it was. I'm pretty happy with it. 
this stuff wasn't as aggressive as um as i was thinking it might be i was going too careful there for a while i was able to bump up the speed and i was fine still had to make multiple passes on some areas and i could spend more time on it but my harbor freight pad over here is kind of giving out on me so i'm gonna do a walk around and show you guys i've got another product i want to use that a uh somebody sent me and wanted me to uh, give them an honest opinion <laughs> figured this would be a good car to kind of test it on this is supposed to be some sort of ceramic sealant so if this will help keep the mildew out of the paint then I'm all for it, so. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. I'd say this car really does need like um, a good wet sanding or I mean, honestly, just a paint job in general. You know, I don't wanna to spend too much time and energy on this paint job when what it really needs is a new one. So I'm pretty happy with that compound. I, I could tell it really got a lot of the mildew stains, a lot of it out. Definitely, I spent, I, went over this like three times and the sun was going down on me yesterday so i couldn't really see as good what i was doing but i went over this like three times and it still got the the stains in it i really feel like that's a wet sanding thing to get that out i'm not a professional detailer but if you are comment down below what you think would get the those stains out but anyway overall i recommend the product it seems to work well for an old paint job does it work better than any other compound i couldn't tell you but anyway thanks for watching i appreciate y'all i'm gonna have the link in the description for that compound if you're gonna buy it anyway if you use that link i'll get a commission so if you want to support the channel that's a great way to do it here's the ceramic spray i used i'll have a link to this in the description too made in america we always love that and here's the instructions on there if you want to pause the video and read that anyway appreciate y'all